All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction video for today and tomorrow, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I don't know why I said that weird. Tomorrow, 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 uh, <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 is going to have a big, like, showcase happening where they're going to show all their, all the stuff or whatever. I don't know what time that's happening. It's happening tomorrow, though. Um, I'll look it up when it's supposed to be. But uh, before then, they decided to show this off, just, I guess, to tease people. This is Introducing Gunsmith 2.0. Now, Gunsmith is a thing. Is that a thing in the mobile version? I've heard of Gunsmith. I'm assuming it's just, you know, take a gun and you add new parts to it, like we we're kind of seeing here. Um, which is something that's always existing in Call of Duty, but I think it's, I'm assuming this is, this is way more in-depth, is my guess. Um, well, it's introducing, so let's find out, because I, I don't exactly know. I definitely don't play Call of Duty Mobile. Um, I do play Call of Duty games, I just don't remember exactly if it's called the Gunsmith or anything. Like, I, I play and I attach whatever I get that's new, and I like the stats or whatever. I don't play that much Call of Duty, but, you know. Anyway, this is Modern Warfare 2, this is not Warzone, so. Anyway, let's go. Maybe it's part of Warzone, actually, think about it. I don't know. I don't know how that would make sense, because you find guns on the ground, but I don't know. Anyway, 3, 2, 1, play. All right, let, show me. Okay, Intel drops. Is that the thing? My name is Mary F. Jukian, and I'm a senior UX designer. Gunsmith itself has a whole new environment. It is an updated interface that makes it feel like you are in a gunsmithing space. My name is Ben Garnell, principal artist. They're going to see, first of all, the M4 platform. And what you're going to notice is not only yeah. in this title are you able to yeah, change no. out the stock, optic, etc., but this time there's actually an extra slot, and that is for the receiver. You have okay. a platform of weapons, which is a family of weapons. Once you get to a receiver unlock within your first weapon, that's when you unlock another weapon. And uh, those modifications you. Okay. that that's you have smart. already unlocked for the previous weapon now work on that weapon too. The receiver this time oh. is driving gunsmith. So it seems like it, it's going to make you have to play with a gun. Wait, yeah. uh, uh, stop. I wasn't done. Uh, play with <laughs> what a gun longer than usual. Cause I feel like in like the last game Vanguard, I was unlocking guns way too quick. Where I'm like, I'm still enjoying this gun. Hold on. Like, not that I'm forced to play the other gun. I'm just saying it's a new, new gun. Oh, God. I'm about to explode. Um, but whatever. And each of these separate receivers have their own... Well, maybe you level up really quickly. I don't know. ...unique progression. So the receiver for the assault rifle will remain for that assault rifle. But if it's a receiver for the SMG within that platform and you switch to that receiver, then you have the SMG in place. But the modifications okay. that you have already previously done on that assault rifle can move over to that SMG. Bill. Okay, so your things will move... Okay, each. I get it. So if it's a part of the same... Like, I'm not really good with guns. Um, not really at all. Like, I play shooters, but that's as far as it goes. Um, but it seems like if it's in the same kind of, like, family, maybe, kind of, or, you know what I mean? Um, then your, your equipment will connect with that one, like, right there. Of those shared attachments that you unlock is now cross-progressible and attachable okay. onto right. another weapon in okay. the same class. In this the class, takes that's what I meant, not family. Class. The grind of having to unlock every single attachment on okay. each weapon every time they want to level up a weapon. Cool. What this does is it shows you that one grip that you unlocked on the first weapon is now usable on a different weapon that's within cool. that See. platform. Sweet. And you don't need so you can really mix and match a lot more. To re-unlock like... that weapon. I'm Joel Emsley. I am a student up, director man? at Infinity War. Why don't you look at me? We are introducing our system of how to Whoa, develop imagine that gun. Imagine you could do this in the game. Like, it's just like... <laughs> like, I'm watching that. Like, I know you could do that in Battlefield uh, 2042. <laughs> that sounds right. Fly a blueprint like we've never done before. We wanted... I have the same fly buzzing around me at all times. Where the fuck did it go? Create... You guys probably can't see it because my, my webcam quality is so shit. Let me go back. Eight. Nope, or not. Wait, what does I say? FJX Cinder Weapon Vault is available with purchase of the Modern Warfare 2 Vault Edition. Oh, goody. Develop or modify a blueprint like we've never done before. We wanted to create a weapon system that was visually consistent through and through. That's good. What the like FJX that. Cinder Vault allows us to do is to take That's a platform sick. like the M4, which has tons of attachments, and every single one of those attachments will be themed cohesively will have that unique look the unique red anodizing of fjx cinder 
My name is Yeet. I might get this one on Xbox. I've been, I've been getting the Call of Duty games on, on PlayStation a lot. This one I might get on Xbox. I don't know. I, I was just thinking to myself, I'm excited for this one. I still need to finish my War for Once campaign. The the reboot one. Um, Yang, but, uh, and I'm a product manager here at Infinity Ward. When we set out to create the vault system, we wanted to give players greater I do really like the, to... the dual trigger, the, the, the adaptive triggers, though. Dude, using a shotgun with the PS5 uh, dual sense is so good. To you, f you feel it. Optimize and add personality to their weapons. Which I like. At its core, the vault system unlocks every attachment Sharp and allows you to equip any attachment onto your M4 platform that share the same aesthetic. It's a fantastic type of weapon and blueprint system to introduce Ooh. into the game because people like me can sit there and geek stock? out on it. What was that stuff? Blueprint system. What the fuck? <laughs> to introduce into the game because people like me can sit there and geek out on it. I consider it to be the ultimate blueprint. It's every single attachment for my personal favorite platform okay. in the game. And you are able to run it however this you... This guy sounds like a villain in a Mission Impossible game. Like, and it's going to match no matter what attachment suite you put on it. He sounds like the villain from uh, the last two uh, Mission Impossible movies. The goal was to... That, that actor, I don't know why. To ...produce something that players could oh. play with and not break the visual. I, I don't know why he sounds like that. I don't know why I brought that up. For all just feels like a whole new experience. This is the game I've been waiting to make a long time. Pre-order yeah. now. Get early access it to took, the open beta. It took you... 15 games to get here but <laughs> and i'm not counting the first three because those were made a little differently since modern warfare one which was 2007 actually that'd be 16 games right because you have 2007 2008 2009 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 and then 22 yeah 20, it's 16 games <laughs> Uh, uh, so the 16th game, finally we could do this. I've been waiting. I don't know how long he's been with the company, but... Uh, uh. All right, that was actually pretty cool. I actually like what I see of that, you know? Because uh, I do like Call of Duty. I do like the customization, but it feels like it's the same thing every year, the customization, where you just get the whatever here and there. And, uh, again, I'm not too too into that stuff. In Call, of Duty. Call of Duty, I'll play every year. Every year, I'll play the games probably multiplayer for around 15 to 20 hours which is nothing compared to other people and then i'm usually good because i have other games in my backlog um usually i'll play the campaigns but uh the last one i i got like maybe a third of the way through and i kind of lost interest uh, i finished call of duty cold wars campaign even though i didn't get the trophy for it because it was it fucking glitched out but i swear to god i finished that game no that's not true i got the trophy for the last mission but i didn't get a trophy for like another mission even though that makes no fucking sense <laughs> but whatever so it, didn't, it says i didn't complete the game even though i got the final trophy final mission trophy whatever yeah, i remember that being really annoyed about that i actually had to restart like three missions because it like it wasn't the i don't think it was the game's fault i th it was my playstation 5 crashed because it, it was it was release time so it crashed a couple times which i hasn't done since around the time that game came out um, but it kept crashing, not the game, the, the system itself. And I would have to, like, it wouldn't turn on, so I would have to, like, do the full reboot thing. You have to, like, hold all the buttons and whatever. And then you have to, like, actually factory reset it. So I lost saves because of that. So uh, I didn't, it was where I didn't lose all my saves because, uh, oh, what was it? Maybe I didn't factory reset. I had to do something. Anyway, I lost saves. And, it, and that was the... I didn't lose my Spider-Man save, though. Because it crashed once there. I don't remember what I did. Did I factory reset? I think I, I think I factory reset it. But I still had my saves for stuff. Oh, it was on the cloud. That's why. <laughs> I was like, wait. How? It was on the cloud. That's why. I, I did... I had the factory reset it. Yeah. So I, I didn't leave my Spider-Man one. But for some reason, my cloud save for Call of Duty did not update. And I lost, like, two or three missions of progress. Which, they're quick missions, so I didn't really mind. I just ran through them real quick. Um, what is with Call of Duty? Every Call of Duty game, you have to have a... There's like a mandatory stealth mission. Why does every Call of Duty game have that? The last few I played, even Vanguard, it wasn't mandatory, but it was like, you should probably stealth it up. Um, and I'm like, alright. <laughs> I shouldn't say mandatory, but... Well, anyway, there you go, that's the Gunsmith uh, 2.0. Hope you enjoyed it, until next time. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!